Okay, we're gonna write a materials list and a cut list. So our cut list is really kind of what cuts are we making at what lengths. Materials list is what do we need to purchase in order to build this. And you can kind of see, well, it's gonna be four eight foot two by eights that are pressure treated lumber. And then we'll, we'll base our cut list off of that. But we did some cost estimation already on this. We're gonna write this out. In order to make this look presentable uh, and so that somebody else could take off from it, we want to have some structure and organization to it, okay? So typically on a material list, you're going to have a quantity over to the left. So we're going to put QTY, which stands for quantity, and we're gonna give that a space. And we'll make some columns here as well and rows. So let's do this. We'll make a header across the top for all of our subject lines. Uh, next would be description. And this is if I call into a lumber yard or have to look it up online, what are we talking about here? I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for that or quite a bit of room for my description. Make a column there. Uh, next would be our unit cost or cost each. So that would be called unit cost and unit one how much per, and then total cost. So usually we take unit cost times quantity, right? Total cost. And then we'd have our bottom line grand total underneath here. And I think we can fit this in with the space we have. In fact, I know we can because we've only got about three line items, okay? So we would go grand total down here. Okay, so let's start with our boards. We know that we need, if we're going to use eight footers, we need four of them at eight foot. Quantity four, description, eight foot, two by eight, cedar tone, treated, lumber. Um, unit cost on those was $12.28 currently. Total cost, $49.12. We know that we're going to need some screws. We counted up that we would need 24 of them if we added up everything we drew in here. And we also figured out those are Torx lag construction screws and they are available at Home Depot for about 60 cents a piece. So we need 24 screws and they are a uh, three inch by five sixteenths diameter Torx lag construction screw. Okay, um, the unit cost on those was 60 cents. Total cost on that $14.40 for fasteners. We're going to put a quantity of one. This would be shop supplies. And this was everything from sandpaper, uh, blades, bits and we're going to put a unit cost of ten dollars on that write that all the way over uh, grand total here sixty three dollars fifty two cents that's our cost so we need to have something laid out that is neat readable like that and then we're also going to include a cut list here. And we're gonna do our best to write this out. So our cut list, uh, let's do this. We also need to label this. Materials list. And cut list.
um, cut list here, we're going to have four at uh, 48 inches, and these would be two by eights. These are going to be two at 38 inches, um, and they are going to be parallel angle, 30 degree parallel angle. So we're going to go two at 38 inches, two by eight. And that would be uh, 30 degree parallel angle. If that makes sense, so these are 30 degree parallel angles and it's 38 from uh, long point to short point. And then finally, we need two at 19 inches, uh, which would be a general dimension, but that's from the long point on the 40 degree side to the short point on the 45 degree side. When you make these, you're gonna cut a 40 you're going to measure 19 inches from the point of that 40 and then you're going to cut a 45 that's a shared cut you have to go opposite end here and measure to where that 40 next 40 degree cut is being made so this is a little tricky to get right but you got to do them opposing each other or a pair opposing pair of them so to write that out and then um we should also put here uh part name And dimensions, could put those in either orders. These would be seat and backrests. Uh, this part name would be long legs. And the last two, two at 19, two by eights. 40 slash 45 degree angles, short legs. So th those are our components. What we want to do with the cut list is we're going to use this um, to, to assign who's doing what in your team and then also to coordinate on this short leg board. There's enough room here for another set of short legs. We can take off from this 40 degree angle and essentially duplicate this down and get another set of short legs out of this board. That's very important because I'm going to be counting on that uh, when we build this efficiency wise. Like I'm not gonna buy much extra material here. Uh, we need to coordinate and team up with another team to get your two sets or two pairs of short legs out of one eight foot board. We do see some uh, similarly a materials list here um, and then some required tools which we haven't talked about yet. We'll go into the rest of this. Uh, but this is what I'm looking for. Please put your name on this. And do we need anything else on it? Um, for now, this is pretty complete. And uh, this is what you need to post for your working drawing, as well as your materials and cut list requirements.